Hi, in this talk, we're going to work on voicings and uh, voice leading for uh, my one and only love. So we're going to have things working out in a way that uh, we get kind of a smooth voice leading effect and um, one chord moves um, to the other in um, the sort of individual voices in mind. And uh, so basically kind of one per string. So we'll take it from the perspective of a drop two voicing and a drop three voicing. Okay, and um, let's get started here. So we have the C major seven to start out with. All right, and so if you're watching this in the YouTube uh, member area. That's the, the top display here. Okay. And we have C major seven. Really for, for both of these. So we can compare. This C major seven here. So that's the first inversion C major seven chord. And that's a drop two kind of voicing. And then we can take this and look at the um, drop three type voicing. Okay. Start out with. Let's work on the on the upper level here, the uh, drop two voicings, and we'll go kind of from from chord to chord. So next up we have a minor seven. so i'm I'm gonna go from that previous chord, C major seven up here. A minor seven. All right, and we can think about you know how these voices move from one to the next. You know, take the fourth string is going like like this, third string. Going up a half step on the third string there. Okay, a major third there on the second string. Okay, and then first string is going up a whole step. The next next chord is D. Minor seven. So this is a first inversion chord. And we're coming from the A minor seven. Right, so we can trace some of these voices. This note remains the same. You know, see if you can kind of use your ear to um, listen for those two notes as I make the change. And then this one on the first string remains the same. Okay, so that gives us the D minor seven. Okay, now we're going into 
And we're keeping these chords very simple, root, third, fifth, and seven. But the nice thing about having this foundation is that you can replace roots and fifths with different things, uh, different notes. So here, we're on the third fret here. So third inversion of the G7. So we've come from the uh, first inversion D minor seven to the third inversion of uh, G7. So that low note remains the same. So if you can kind of listen for that note. This note moves down. So this voice on our second string stays the same. And then let's listen for this note. Moving to that note there. All right. And so the practice idea here is is to work at getting a feel for how one moves to the next. Okay, next up we have the E7. Let's say E7. Say E7 flat nine over G sharp, which we could also think in terms of a G sharp diminished seven. So let's check out how that sounds. So we're going from this to, to this, right? So let's listen. So we have this note is going to remain the same. This note will also remain the same. This note remains the same. And this note will move up a half step. So we've played a few chords. Um, let's see if we could think a little bit about uh, how this comes together. Um, so far we have uh, C major 7 going to A minor 7. D minor 7, G7, to G sharp diminished. So let's carry on here a bit. So then that's going to lead us into A minor 7. So here we have the third inversion. are dropped two so far. Okay, so let's see how that previous chord moves into that. So we have this note to this note, so. We have this note moving to this note. Okay, so that's the motion there. Now we're going to, going to look at F major 7.
Okay, so from the previous chord, A minor 7 to the F major 7. Okay, now we go to the D minor 7. So here's our previous chord, F major 7, third inversion, first inversion, D minor 7. So we have this going to this. So um, that will um, give us that change, and we're thinking about those individual uh, voices going up. Okay, and D minor seven. Going to G7. So there's the D minor 7, and then there's the G7. Okay, so we have this note remaining the same. We have this note moving down. This note remains the same. Okay, now we're heading up to E minor seven. I'm going from the G7 to E minor 7. So let's check that out. So So that's first inversion, E minor 7. So let's see if we can take a moment, put some things together here a little bit. All right, so really looking at the A section today, and we'll focus on these um, drop two voicings. 
and uh, we'll do the drop three tomorrow. And uh, so let's just kind of get a sense for how it, this all sounds in the context of the tune. Um, and then we'll we'll go a bit further too, but uh, I have a little little break to see how things are going here. So we have C major seven, A minor seven, D minor seven. G7, G sharp diminished, A minor 7, and to the F major 7. Okay, now, actually, we're going to go to D minor there. So, it, and I think that's about where we, where we left off. So, we get this the F major 7, D, these are going to go one per beat there. Okay, so we get to the A7. We came from E minor 7. Okay, we're going to A7. Okay, so this voice. Okay, and then we have D minor seven, and we're coming from A seven. Okay, so we have Right, now we're headed to the B F diminished chord. One thing you could do here too is um, maybe try to connect a little bit on the um, drop three type voicings, but we're going to work on these drop two voicings first. So we're going to head from D minor. Seven to to the B minor seven flat five. Like that. All right, so let's check out that. So so we're having a kind of an upward motion. Next up, we have E7 flat 9. And we have um, coming from the B minor 7 flat 5. Okay. 
So this voice moves down a half step. Okay, and then let's end it for today on this A minor 7. So we're going from the E7 flat 9 to the A minor 7 for now. So we have this. Great, so um, made it at least um, most of the way through the A section, so we'll pick off up where we left off um, tomorrow. So um, thanks for checking this out, and um, the uh, video edition of this is available to uh, YouTube members on the practice ideas and concepts. Thanks for listening, and... Checking this out.